president said that 99% of coronavirus cases are totally harmless. Which members of the White House Coronavirus Task Force agree with that statement? The this president was noting the fact that the vast majority of Americans uh, who contract coronavirus uh, will come out on the other side of this. Of course, he takes this very seriously. Of course, uh, no one wants to see anyone in this country contract COVID, which is why the administration has fought hard uh, to make sure that's not the case with our historic response effort. Um, stand up for the men and women of NASCAR and the fans. And uh, the president isn't downplaying the severity of the virus. Uh, what the president's noting is that um, at the height of this pandemic, we were at 2,500 deaths per day. Um, we are now at a place where on July 4th, there were 254. That's a tenfold decrease in mortality. On July 5th, um, 209 individuals uh, down 23% from last Sunday and the lowest Sunday since March 28th. The president's made clear we grieve when just one life is lost, uh, but he wants to note the progress that we've made um, in treating this very serious virus when we have their like convalescent plasma, remdesivir, dexamethasone, um, convalescent plasma in particular was spearheaded by this administration. Um, he's used, he's pulled down bureaucracy and allowed us to get to a place where we can have this declining mortality rate. Why was that allowed to happen? Did she have contact with the president on, on the trip back? The president is tested constantly, uh, has tested negative, and those around him are tested as well. But why, what, like the original question is, why was she allowed to fly back on Air Force One with the president when it was known that she had had contact with somebody who had tested positive for the virus? Yeah, I'd have to refer you to Secret Service on that, but I'll tell you this, they take the president's health uh, very seriously. They would never put him in a situation that would put him um, in harm's way. On the other hand, there is no ban on hotspots like Russia, India, or Mexico, for example. So what is the criteria? Yeah, President Trump and the administration have taken bold, decisive, and frequent action to secure our homeland. And a big part of that has been these travel restrictions. Um, and we're working with countries around the world. Uh, we hope to have a day where inter international travel is open. But right now, uh, this is about putting America first. Um, and I want to say this. I Yes. Uh, European countries, now the UK, are starting to open uh, for foreign visitors, but the US is still banned. How do you think the world is looking at the United States right now? I think the world is looking at us as a, a leader in uh, COVID-19, because the chart I showed you where you have mortality rate in Italy and UK up here and across Europe, and you have the United States um, at a low mort case mortality rate, it's because of the extraordinary work that we've done on therapeutics um, and getting PPE and leading uh, on ventilators and having excess ventilators that we were able to deploy around the world and help other countries. Kaylee, Kaylee, we have a ton more questions. Kaylee, we're glad to ask you a ton more questions. We welcome you back. We'll ask you all those topics. Let's stay for the hour. Thank you.